All right, hi guys. So we are moving out of our apartment in a few weeks. One thing I really want to do before moving is organize my closet. Like I want to build my dream wardrobe in our new apartment. And I feel like also with moving, there's so much stuff to bring to our new apartment. I packed down moving boxes and it would just be a lot easier if I got rid of old clothes. I'm not going to use that much. And I'm really bad at organizing my closet and getting rid of old stuff. Like I probably have shirts in here that are from like five years ago that I'm never using, but I just feel like I should keep them. So yeah, let's start organizing my closet. So we currently have four closets, but two of them are my boyfriend's clothes. And then one of them is just for like storage. So I only have two closets, which doesn't feel like a lot, but it's packed with clothes. I have such a hard time at picking out stuff to wear in the morning just because all my tank tops look like this. So literally I'm just picking what's on top of here and then I end up wearing the same thing over and over. Let's just start shelf by shelf. This is so hard to read. <laughs> I feel like the only thing organized in my closet are my jeans. They look pretty organized. Thing is, I'm just filling up like this space with a bunch of other stuff, but I'm gonna stop with that. I'm just gonna keep my jeans visible like this. So it's much easier in the morning to just pick out a pair. But all right, I think I'm gonna start with sweatpants. First, we have these like straight gray sweatpants, which these are one of my favorites. Also the same ones I'm wearing right now, but in black. Then I have these ones that I traveled to Australia, so they're like really special. Okay, I don't know. I definitely don't love these anymore, but yeah, I don't know. All right, and then these are literally the same sweatpants as the gray and black ones, so definitely keeping. They're so oversized, but I don't mind. Like, I'm just using them at home. All right, and then there's these sweatpants. I feel like these were like so popular a few years ago, but Ever since, it's kind of switched to straight leg sweatpants. I definitely think I like a straight leg fit better, but that's just me personally. Okay, but now I'm kind of regretting what I said because I love these sweatpants. They just have a better fit, I think. They're from Brandy Melville. And like, I literally got these during my change year, like five years ago. Yeah, like five years ago, but I love them. Like they are, one of the only pieces of colorful pants I have. All right, and then I have these sweatpants from Colossus. These ones I just got like not even a year ago in Australia. I think these are honestly my favorite sweatpants like ever. They have this great fitted. Okay, then we have these ones. I'm pretty sure it's the fit. And these ones are just like super short. Okay, now kind of moving on from sweatpants, but these are still like in the comfy zone. So these are just flared normal leggings. One of my favorite pieces, like I literally wear these every other day. Okay, and then I don't even know how to categorize these pants. They're kind of like suit pants, but still like more casual. They're one of my favorite pieces in my closet. Like they work for dressed up outfits, basic everyday outfits. I did have one more pair of colorful pants, but I really don't like these. First of all, I can't breathe in them. Like they're so tight. I think I used them for a party once. All right, and then these are like the only pair of suit pants to have. I really like them, although they are so long. So I feel like organizing my closet is so good because now I can actually see what I need to get. I would need to get another pair of suit pants. I'm just kidding, I found another pair of sweatpants. They're the exact same model as the other ones. And this is after I switched up the organization a little bit so I placed all my clothes like sideways so I can actually pull out one piece without the other ones just falling down and now I can also see everything in here so now I just gotta do the same thing here 
All right, it's now a few days later and this is all the clothing I'm not keeping. And what's really funny is Molly, she comes and picks up a piece of clothing and takes it out to the living room. Like she just has random pieces of clothing here that she thinks it's really funny to steal. But yeah, I'm also just about to start organizing my second closet, but I'm so happy with this closet. It's so much easier picking out clothes in the morning because I can actually see all my clothes now, so I love it. Also something I did this morning, I decided on a bunch of outfits that I'm gonna wear this week. I feel like now that spring is here and it's actually getting a little bit warmer or it's actually snowy, but it is getting a little bit warmer. I feel like I'm gonna start wearing more like cute outfits. And I feel like there's so many clothes in my closet I just never wear. So I finally decided on some fun outfits. And also now I don't even have to plan out my outfits in the morning. Like I can just pick one from here. All right, so it is a few days later and it is time to finally start packing and cleaning the apartment. So actually we don't have to start packing for another like few weeks but we have like i don't know what it's called but they're gonna come here and like check our apartment to see that everything's working and stuff like that so i obviously want the apartment to look really nice and clean so i thought while well, we're actually cleaning out the apartment and doing like a deep clean we can just as well start packing a little bit just like stuff we're not gonna have to use for the weeks leading up until moving so yeah i'm super excited are you excited Amali doesn't know we're moving, like that's so crazy. She has no idea we're moving in a couple of weeks, but I've been telling her, so maybe she knows. But all right, let's start deep cleaning. I think we're gonna start with our hallway or hallway, it's not even like an official hallway, but our entrance. Basically, we just have like so many jackets here, so much like winter stuff that we're not gonna use anymore because it's finally spring. This was Molly's baby harness. Oh my gosh, she remembers it. She's like <laughs> really excited right now. Yeah, it is so tiny. She currently has the same one, but just in a bigger size because her squad is super small. Like, look at this. It's just tiny now compared to her. And, and this used to be like too big on her, which is so crazy. God, and these are Molly's winter shoes, but she never wants to wear them. Yeah, she just wants to like play with them, but they're so cute. I have to keep this as a memory of how tiny she was. Okay, this already looks so much better, so much more clean, not as cluttery. All right, so now we're gonna get started on the kitchen. Um, we're gonna start packing all of Molly's stuff. I'm trying to be a bit quiet because my boyfriend's sleeping, but he's like, the dogs are being so noisy right now. Okay, so this is what Molly's stuff looks like now. It's so much more clean and organized. So I just put pretty much all of her stuff in this bag. So once we move, I can just bring this bag with us. A huge bag of food. And then I also got this little like container for her food. So it's much easier to dispense her food every time she's gonna eat. Yeah, he really wants her food. All right, so now I'm gonna pack down all our Christmas stuff. We actually don't have a lot of Christmas stuff at all because we just moved out last year and then we were in Australia like all of December. So we didn't even like decorate for Christmas, but we have this cute koala. This one is actually from Australia. Oh, do you like it? Anyways, so I'm just gonna put all of this down in this Ikea bag. Then we also have this Christmas tree and I just had it in my bedroom at my parents' house. But I don't know if we're gonna keep this or if we're just gonna get an official like Christmas tree.
came to pick up all the toys. This one is her by far favorite toy. It was actually just for Christmas, but now she's only playing with this one. So, I mean, I can't take it away from her. Oh. I wouldn't even need to buy toys for my puppy because her favorite toys are just scrunchies. She steals my scrunchies and she also steals our socks. Like that's <laughs> her favorite toys. So Molly and I are just looking at the view. I mean, there's not really a view right now because it is like pretty cloudy, but it's really beautiful. And Molly just likes looking out the window. So yeah, we're just laying here in bed, looking out the window right now. Are you seeing something? Hi. Also, we just ordered some matchas. There's like nothing better than waiting for your matcha yeah i think we also ordered some i don't know what it's called it's like a sushi ice cream so yeah we're just gonna have a cozy friday night <laughs> So I just washed all our sheets, so we're gonna have fresh new sheets tonight. It's the best feeling. So yeah, I'm just gonna make the bed real quick. Mm -hmm. 